Okay, so let's take a look at this division of fraction problems. Do you remember the trick to dividing uh, by a fraction? And basically the trick is that we don't do it. Um, instead of dividing by a fraction, we apply this idea of two opposites will get you back where you started. Let me talk about what I mean. First, we deal with the opposite of division. You might know that the opposite or inverse of division is multiplication. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this division problem into a multiplication problem. And you think, Kate, um, how is that possible? You can't just go around changing things because you feel like it. No, of course I can't. There's going to be a reaction to that. I need to have two inverses, not just the inverse of division. I also need to have the inverse of the fraction. Let's take a look at the second fraction, two-thirds. You say, well, what's the inverse of a fraction? The inverse of a fraction is what's known as its reciprocal, reciprocal, or flip. So that's the idea here. The numerator becomes the denominator, the denominator becomes the numerator, and this is a reciprocal or flip. So what I'm trying to tell you is that dividing by a fraction is equivalent or equal to multiplying by its reciprocal. And anytime things are equivalent in math class, I can swap one out for the other. So that's what I'm going to do. Instead of dividing by two thirds, I'm going to multiply by three halves. Now be real careful, keep the first number exactly the way it is. Sometimes in class I'll call this keep it, change it, flip it, so you can remember this principle to keep the first number, change division into multiplication, and flip the second fraction. And now this is just a multiplication problem, so we can cross reduce any common factors, and then multiply straight across, and I get this answer five halves. Now a lot of students say, Kate, this is an improper fraction. I'm not allowed to keep this answer. And I'll tell you that most times in algebra class, we're okay with an improper fraction. This answer looks pretty good to me. An exception would be as if you found this problem in a word problem. If this wasn't a word problem, you would want to convert it. So to do that, I'm just going to do the division implied by the fraction bar. 5 divided by 2. Well, 2 goes into 5 2 times with the remainder of 1. So I still have 1 left in my fraction. So that'd be the same as 2 and 1 half. I'll do it over here in case that went too fast for you. But I divide 2 into 5, and I see that I have 2 and 1 half. Either one of these answers are totally acceptable. There's nothing wrong with either one.